But I, I want to tell you what's, what's even more disgraceful. What's even more disgraceful than the policy is the effort to silence the residents of Springfield. I've seen this from the American media. A lot of people who pretend to be fair journalists. You know what they've been saying? For the last few days, Springfield has been experiencing an unbelievable number, something like 35, 40 bomb threats in Springfield in just the last, in just the last few days. And you know what the governor of Ohio came out yesterday and said? Every single one of those bomb threats was a hoax. And all of those bomb threats came from foreign countries. So the American media for three days has been lying and saying that Donald Trump and I are inciting bomb threats when in reality the American media has been laundering foreign disinformation. It is disgusting. And every single one of them owes the residents of Springfield an apology. But I think it illustrates something, my friends, that is so sick from the American press in 2024. And it's that instead of talking about the crises in our country, they try to silence the people who are experiencing them. Because their message in talking about these bomb threats and in lying to the American people and saying they came from me and Donald Trump, what they're doing is trying to shut all of us up. They're trying to say, how dare you, citizens of Springfield, complain about this migrant inflow because now these bomb threats are happening. How dare you complain about the fact that you can't afford housing. How dare you complain about Kamala's open border. The media conspired to shut American citizens up. They owe every single American an apology, and they ought to... And after giving every single American an apology, why don't they think about covering the real crisis, which is Kamala's open border Woo! and its many, many victims? Focus on the real story, American media. Stop trying to shut up the people who are telling the re real story. Do your job. Cover what's going on in this race, and the American people will be better off for it.